Hello everyone, it is ZigZag here and welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. So uh, you guys have no doubt seen a few of my videos if you've been watching for a while where I play on the Australia map and it's definitely one of my favourite ways to play GeoGuessr, the Australia State Streaks. But I've never done a map just in my own city, at least not on camera. Uh, so yes, I'm from Adelaide, 1.3 million people, capital city of South Australia. But to be honest, most South Australians do live inside Adelaide. And uh, we're going to see how I can go, if I can get any perfect scores. I dare say I will be able to. Um, in my couple of attempts off camera, I've gotten pretty high scores. Um, but uh, we're going to see how many perfect scores I can actually manage and whether I recognize most of my city. Now, I'll try not to dox myself in this one, but uh, but uh, yeah, it should be fun. So before we move into it, I'm just letting you know that uh, I can get monetized when I hit 1,000 subs. We are at 786. We're going pretty well. Uh, things have been moving pretty quickly recently, so thank you to all the new viewers. And uh, yeah, so just hit subscribe and uh, help me out that way. So let's move on to Adelaide. Here we are. Um, my high score of 24,900. That was actually no moving with my friend and my internet cut out halfway through, so it didn't actually take 45 minutes. Um, but uh, I have high hopes. I think we can at least get a couple of um, perfect scores here. And if we could go for the 25,000, you just never know. Uh, so let's go in here. Of course, we're playing no moving. That is the name of the game on this channel. And uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so internet's being a bit slow, unfortunately. Um, but uh, we are, okay. I, uh, I am uh, exactly familiar with where we are straight off the bat. Um, this here is Port Rush Road. Um, and um, yep, this is around my ends. So um, let me see, we've got a number of businesses here. We've got the pet barn and everything. So we can immediately go and get this. This is on Port Rush Road, so we should be around here. Um, no, it's not, the, it's um, here we are. So this is on, no, it's not the parade, sorry. And uh, if my internet would be a bit faster, that would be really nice, but here we are. Uh, around here, I believe. So the we should wait, 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 wait. So we need um, we need Port Rush Road here. Kind of feel silly, but this this yellow one here is the Port Rush Road, of course. And um, the library is right here. So we should be just here in front of the pet barn. And uh, let's just confirm that here. And uh, yeah, the pet barn is a little bit further down. So I guess we are in front of this patisserie. So Jaden Diamond Sweets, I guess. I guess that's probably what it's turned into. Um, and yeah, that's there. So pretty happy with that. And we're gonna get 5,000 off the bat. One meter away indeed. So a fantastic start here. And uh, yeah, let's see if we get some easy ones like that again. This one, not gonna be so easy though. In fact, I don't think we have any street signs, so we're gonna have to vibe this one out. Um, I don't see any mountains anywhere in the background there. Okay, it looks like we have some hills to our south. That's going to be a good clue for Adelaide. So Adelaide pretty much has hills running down from here all the way, and then they actually uh, cut through the city here. You can see there's like a, a, a slight mountain range that goes right through to the sea in the, like the Onkaparinga River National Park there. So it's definitely going to be helpful. Um, this one definitely feels like a good way out of town. It's going to be south or north, and I feel like because we have these hills to the south in the distance, we're probably looking to be somewhere over here and looking at these hills a bit further south. So that is what I would suggest, uh, but we could be north as well, wouldn't count that out. So do we have any other proper clues here? I think because we don't, it's not really worth spending too long on this round. Um, other than the fact that, yeah, we can see these hills kind of, so they're a bit like south east there. So that would actually make sense indeed. So let's just find a, a, an avenue that kind of fits. We're kind of going like uh, diagonally here. So I mean like something like that would work I think. Um, maybe we probably, the, the hills do appear to be quite far into the distance. So I am thinking of even going somewhere a little bit further away. So what about that? I feel like that could work. We do have like kind of a river, uh, like a creek up here to our north, so you never know. I mean, I don't exactly think this is where we are gonna be, but um, but nevertheless, I'm I'm happy with this kind of area. So let's see if I'm correct. And no, it's actually all the way out north. So we can actually see these hills here. Uh, so a bit of poor judgment there. And uh, I think we'll restart because I do want, of course, to get a, a better score than that. Okay, so attempt number two here, and this one's much nicer. We do have a lot of information here. Um, so whereabouts in the city are we? Let's take a look at some of these businesses. So plenty of familiar spots. Okay, this one, 
I think this one might be on Anzac Highway. Of course, Anzac standing for the Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. Um, I do think this is on Anzac Highway. I could be wrong though. So this this pub or like venue here, I think I've been to things at. So let's uh, go ahead and check. So this one should be heading like south on Anzac Highway. I think we're on one of these intersections here. Um, so we've got like an on, we've got like an on the run. It's like an, a, a particular South Australian business that's really like prominent. So if you ever see this on the run, um, then you should be in South Australia uh, unless they expand in the future. Um, we've got a Commonwealth Bank here, and we've got this Highway Pub. So let's check it out. Um, yeah, we've got the Highway right there. So that was actually the first one I checked, and very good. So the Highway's to our south, and we are kind of, I guess, like. Yeah, we're right like here, I guess. And the slip, there should be a slip lane there. Yeah, there is one. So we have our first 5,000 for the uh, one, nine meters away this time, but uh, but correct nonetheless. Okay, and um, here we are in round two. This one kind of looks like North Adelaide. Yeah, this one's North Adelaide. So Adelaide's like a very planned city, as you can see. Um, this is like the main area city and there's, there's parklands all around it. And then there's kind of like another part of the city up to the north, which is more like residential. And so we, I believe we are in North Adelaide here and we are right next to the Christ. Um, well, it's a bit glitched out, but it's an Anglican church here. So that's gonna be our biggest clue, I dare say. And uh, we're on a fairly wide road here and um, we can see the entertainment center there. You can just actually make out the writing. So we are looking down at the entertainment center and let's find it. The entertainment center is um, here, or oh, festival center, I guess. Um, so I think, are we on? Mm, I'm actually less sure now. I'm just gonna f try and find the church. I think we might be on like Hill Street or something. Um, maybe not. Um, so the, this road should continue down. So actually it might be Jeffcott Street. Yeah. Could this be the church here, the Christ Church? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is actually. Um, although it, like it's showing up to be a bit further away on the map for some reason. So do we see like a little lane here? Um, there should be like Christ Church Lane, I think. Okay, do we have any street signs on the other side of the road? That's what I'm wondering. Now we do have like an intersection just up here. I think that might be this intersection here. Um, and then it should like go off into parklands, which it does. Okay, so yeah, I do believe we are here. Um, and I think I think it is just correct here. I think this is that right there. Um, I can't see the lane, but I think that might be the lane there, like a walkway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this should be correct. And I think we'll get another 5,000 points here. So relatively, I mean, 18 meters away should have gotten a bit better there, but relatively nice seeds so far, just the one tough round. And we're going very well. Now, of course, if you see these Stoby poles, you know you're in South Australia. And so they are not helpful at all for an Adelaide map because pretty much 95% of the poles in South Australia, at least, are Stobies. So very nice. Okay, so this one feels more northern to me. Um, feels like northern suburbs, but I'm not entirely sure. We've got Lance. Um, Lance Avenue or something like that. I think it's Lance Avenue. Um, we're hilly off to the east here. We're hilly off to the east. And uh, that would certainly fit. Obviously, Adelaide has hills to the east pretty much all the way through. So at the moment, I'm thinking something like Tea Tree Gully or something like that. Hope Valley, kind of this area, maybe Modbury Heights, something like that. Um, so let's get into thinking here. So let's get the angle of the road. We're pretty much on a, on a two-lane road east to west here, relatively straight east to west. Um, it's not a major road, but it could be something like this, you know? And uh, so we're looking for the um, Lance is off to the south. Okay, Lance Avenue is off to the south. Um, yeah, and uh, we can certainly find something like that. So let's just look. I'm going to um, probably cut away. I'm just going to go for a search now and might speed it up or cut away as, uh, as I search on some of these roads for a Lance. So... Okay, well, I have done quite a bit of searching now. We seem to be right on like the eastern edge of the city here. So it, it's quite annoying that I can't find the right one. I mean, I've done a pretty thorough search here, I'd like to say, and just nothing is showing up. Like this is where I would ex have expected it to be around here, I feel like. Um, but 
I cannot find any lands. And beyond that, there's just not much to go off of here. Yeah, it's lands have. Hmm. Yeah, quite annoying. I think I might just have to plonk it here. I'm going to give one last quick search, and then I think I'll just go for it. So, yeah, that is the state of affairs. Quite unfortunate, because if we had the name of this main road, then things would be easy, I feel like. I just do you think it kind of looks like this area, though. Well, guys, I have done a good search here, and I cannot find it. And I just have the feeling that it is somewhere, like, between, like, Ross Trevor and, like... Fairview Park. I do think it's somewhere in here, but I cannot find a Lance Avenue anywhere. Now, if we had the name of the, um, like the long road we're on, I think we'd have no problem. And I really have the strong urge to keep looking because we are on 10,000 points here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think it's just going to take too long of my time. So I'll just guess here. Now I do still think it could be somewhere in the South and, um, no, I'm trying to zoom in and search for longer, but yeah, it could be south, southern, um, but I do think it's northern, so let's check it out, see if I'm correct, and no, it is southern, and here we are, there is Lance Avenue, we're on Penny's Road, and uh, we lose all our points, that is rather sad, I knew it had to be somewhere along the edge here, um, it just reminded me of somewhere I knew out north, um, and never mind, so... Uh, we'll continue this one off. I'll, um, we'll go for one more attempt after this for sure, but uh, yeah, I'll have to cut out a lot there, that's for sure. So we're next to the SA Military Vehicle Museum here. Fascinating. Not a place I know. Um, so garage boot sale, car boot sale. It's an interesting like, language difference. Uh, I got laughed at when I was in Canada last time for calling the trunk of a car the boot. But yeah, that's, that's the more, more common way to say it in Australia calling it the boot um yeah I'm not actually sure where this is again this feels more northern to me oh hold up yeah no oh is that the I think that's the Salisbury um city uh, council logo so let's check up there first I think that is at least like some something one of these ones up here and uh, what is good about this one is that um, it's fairly rural. We don't have too many houses around, so we have to be somewhere on the edge of a town and the road we're on is kind of like it's running up northwest, so this should make things not too difficult. I think we'll just start checking a uh, road that might fit like this. Um, you know, that one almost fits straight off the bat, I think, but we, uh, we'll just check out Salisbury North here. I think that's really most likely. Um, it's going to be somewhere up here. So this is my prediction, and uh, we'll just see. Okay, we, ha we even have like a RAAF base here. Um, I do think we're in, I think we're in the right area here. We'll just see. Airport? does kind of feel like we might be near an airport. Hmm. But that's not the main airport of Adelaide. The main airport is down here, the International Airport. Because we've already missed out on the perfect score here, I'm just going to guess around here. Um, I know that this is not correct, but at the same time, given that we've missed it, guessing near the RAAF is probably not a bad idea. I do think we're somewhere up here somewhere. And yes, right near there. Just missed it, unfortunately. Was kind of looking at the bigger roads, but 1.8 kilometers away is still a good result. And the last one, uh, we can race through this one as well, just because we're not on track for a perfect score anymore. I had to say this one also feels north, um, but let's take a look. Hmm, we got a palm tree. Often palm trees can be more of a south thing. Um, but this, uh, this kind of winter coverage with the bright green grass, I often find in the north. So, yeah, I have to consider a number of factors here. I'm probably just going to plonk this one somewhere up here again. Um, let's see if I'm correct. Wouldn't be surprised if this is south. Yeah, it is actually south in C clip. Okay, so that is the first attempt. Just these two bad guesses. The other three were all pretty good. Started off with the two perfect scores. They were nice. Um, and then uh, messed up these two. So... One more attempt. Let's see if we can uh, get some more nice rounds with, with a lot of information. That's really what you need. Okay, in for the final attempt here. Let's see what we got. Appears that we have this uh, curly haired fella who has covered the botanic gardens and the zoo. So we should be in the zoo here. Now that is very good. And actually we can see the sea lion sign here. Um, so yeah, the zoo is right near the city in Australia. Here we are, Adelaide Zoo. And will it show up where the sea lions are? Okay, this is a problem. It doesn't actually show the enclosures, so 
and I have to rewind to my childhood here to try and remember what part of the zoo this is at. I'm not entirely sure. I feel like it actually might be somewhere around the center. Um, I don't think we're actually going to be able to get 5,000 here, which is crazy. Um, yeah, that we're right next to these buildings and everything too, though. So, hmm, it's not entirely a dead set, but I do think we are somewhere near here at least. I do think we're in this area of the zoo. Um, and if the man, if they had the enclosures labeled, then we could really easily get 5k here. But as it stands, I think we're close. And, oh, 800, 180 meters away, we're actually right on the edge of the zoo. So 4.9 thousand, it'll do for now. Still, still gives us the opportunity for a good score. Um, this one feels southern to me. We actually have an unblocked license plate here, but that doesn't really help. Um, you know, Southern could be Northern. That is kind of the story of this video though, I think. Um, okay, so we do have a number of like, kind of like cul-de-sac kind of streets here. Um, and you can see like the center of the city is all kind of more grids. And then as you move out, you kind of get more cul-de-sacs like up here and up here, and also down here, many more cul-de-sacs, but definitely something I associate with the South. And it feels like the ocean is even kind of off this way. So we could be in like, yeah, we could be in like Christie Downs or something like that, I kind of feel. Um, and we've got like a nature reserve up to our east here. So that is interesting. I definitely hadn't considered that much. Um, so maybe we're even further south here. So maybe we're in like Seaford, Seaford Rise. And uh, just trying to think where this road would end up at. Like, we don't have any road name here, so there's no chance of 5 king We are, we're in a court that kind of bends up into a nature reserve, so kind of confusing if I'm honest. Um, not really sure how far down this map goes either, but uh, it's not particularly hilly either. That's the surprising thing. If we look over to our south here, we can't actually see any mountains or any large size hills or anything like that. So, okay, let's just pick a road that roughly fits here. Um, something I have to do just to keep myself happy. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think like something like Seaford should should do the trick. And okay, it's actually all the way up here in... What suburb is this? Her Happy Valley, Woodcroft? And it's actually not a court. Well, it kind of is. It's like a... What does CCT stand for, actually? Something... Anyway, that's a really interesting <laughs> shape of a road, and we end up 11 kilometers away, which is not terrible, but not good either. Okay, so let's see the next one. Uh, ooh, this is a really tiny house, and right next to a huge one as well. well I guess they're subdivided. This one, ooh, look, it's a nuns Toby pole. There you go. They do exist, they do exist, and they're not normally wooden. Um, so we've got mountains out to our south here. We have a road name, but it's not legible, unfortunately. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, not too much to say. We've got a church here, but no name of it, unfortunately. Uh, to me... Hmm. I'm actually not sure where this is. I was thinking west at first. Now I'm thinking kind of northeast. Modbury area, maybe. Um, hills to the south, yeah. We could be in, like, Hope Valley. Looking down on, like, the Black Hill. Um, hills, Morialta and whatnot. I think that actually kind of makes sense. I'm gonna go in here. And uh, yeah, we're actually pretty close, 4.6 kilometers away. And we're right next to um, St. Pius Catholic Church there. And we're in Windsor Gardens, Holden Hill area. Uh, okay, so not a bad result there, I would say. And uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely like, when are you playing your own city? It's like all bringing in that like real life knowledge in, but it's also the ability to like scan and find roads that fit the right angle and everything. It's a bit of a pain. Um, although like, I, I do think like going a bit faster and just like trying to pick the right area is pretty fun. So I think this is actually a similar area. I would say this one might be like more like mm, Highbury or something like that. I do think we're somewhere around here. I, I, I think we're like quite surrounded by nature here. Definitely gets a lot more trees up here this way, I reckon. So I'll go for it. And no, this one's actually in Morphet Vale. So complete, um, misjudgment there. And that's kind of been the story. Like, I definitely think this area right here in Morphet Vale 
near Onkaparinga Hills is a similar look to up here with with the kind of it's where the hills get taller and uh, the final round of the video let's see if we can get a 5k so we got Maureen Andrews farm which is a um, kind of smaller suburb up north here's Andrews farm um, and we have the um, okay no that is actually to call the real estate agent I think but we're on Lakesview Drive so makes things nice and easy for us um, let's see what we've got to our north here so to our north we've got a bit of an empty plot that is interesting but Lakeview Drive surely there would be a lake um, though I don't see one so is Lakeview Drive a misnomer or uh, is there actually a lake that we're missing here that's the question here is Lakeview Drive Lakeside Drive how did I mess up that name so quickly? Lakeside Drive, we're on 55, so theoretically we should be right. Hmm. Oh, so Lakeside Drive bends around, but can't really continues on for a long way, this Lakeview Drive. And here's 55, so I wasn't even checking the compass. But yeah, of course, to the north, um, to the northwest, I guess we have this. Not really a lake. I would not call this a lake view. I mean smash like if you if you disagree that this is a lake view with me because uh you can do better you can do better you can do better mike this is not a lake view this is a this is a like vague little marsh view <laughs> okay so interesting these uh these uh lights seem to be more of a northern thing with like the little pickle harbor on top or whatever <laughs> um but uh let us go up here and uh, get this 5k to end off the video and there we go, two meters away, very nicely and conveniently placed uh, real estate agent sign there for us. And uh, yes, we end up with 14,000 again. I think that's like almost the exact same result as last time. This time we only had one bad guess. Everything else is kind of in the right area. And um, yeah, I definitely think I'll do this again, maybe with a time limit. Maybe I'll do it on stream or something. Um, but uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty fun. Um, I, I definitely think like, uh, it was more fun when we got in the areas where I kind of knew, um, but then also like it's like, you know, there's not much, there's not much uh, searching when it comes to that kind of round. So yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching. Um, I'll see you in another video. Uh, comment what I should do next, and uh, yeah, thanks for making it all the way to the end. I'll see you later.